Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. We are back in the land of Cyrodiil with a boatload of carnage and everything like that. So we are finally at the home stretch, guys. We are going to do finally do main car Cameron's Paradise, which I'm going to put main car Cameron's Paradise and the finale all in one episode um, because reasons because you know and i know exactly congratulations on your victory sir thank you dun, 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 dun. i have everything in place for the ritual i'll open the portal whenever you're ready i don't know what you'll find in cameron's paradise i do know the portal i create through the mysterium zarxis ritual will close behind you You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for Paradise, just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to Paradise? Are you ready? Farewell, my friend. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the amulet of kings brace yourself all righty i have arrived make our cameron's paradise the portal is closed behind me i must find find my man car cameron and kill him and recover the amulet of kings okay So, the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. Behold the savage garden, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny, to rule over Tamriel Revolt. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not... ...hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayalon. My seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. All right. So you found your way to Gaiar Alata at last. Don't we have enough troubles here without you adding to them? Leave us alone. Your quarrel is with Mankar Cameron, not us poor fools. Leave me in peace. destroyed the sigil tower at Ganona. My kin, say you fought well. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. What do you want then? There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring... 
bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Canona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle? Or offer me service? Your mind follows the simple path. The choice of an animal. But you have courage at least. You will fail, mortal. And then where will you be? Dead and nothing. Where am I going? I want to do something here. How little you understand. You cannot stop, Lord Dagon. The principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala and... and Dawn's beauty, the princedom of Lorcon. Misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He you wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? 
Can you defeat Mankar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Good. Follow me, and don't worry. You can trust me. What's going on? Who's this? A prisoner sent in by... Show me some respect, worm. Unless you want to end up in a cage as well. Yes, Kinreeve, sir. This prisoner was sent in by Kapitet for question. I was about to begin. This is not one of Mankar Cameron's chattels from the garden. Who is he? Nothing escapes your vigilance, Kinreeve. Kapitet wondered as well. This is why he sent him for question. Well, carry on. Of course, Kinreeve. Prisoner, get in the cage. There's no way for me to cross, but the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. That just sounds painful, I'm sorry.
<clears throat> you made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. Cool, I have a follower. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me. After all, you think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel reborn. Really? Okay, hold on. <laughs> The principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala and... and Dawn's beauty, the princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded... Oh. All right, now I gotta do this all over again. You fall down and bleed. Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince. You wear the band. Okay. To kill can you, Cameron, can you blah, blah, blah 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 um why would you help I me was at, but I they I right, huh. no one wearing the I can sure good all right awesome Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel his birthright he comes to liberate the occupied lands. Now I got to do that whole thing over again. Luckily, I didn't waste too much time. There's no way for me to cross. But the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. I'm gonna save it so I don't have to do this over again. You made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. 
I am not without power. Sure. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. All right. Just naming it right here, just in case I... Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent of fate. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. Okay, can't go down there. Save right here. Opening the door to paradise. Let's put an end to Mancar Cameron and his evil paradise. to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. Show me what you've got! Only the You're pathetic. Do your work. <laughs> yeah. I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathe the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon the lines now yeah goodbye blurred will be erased <laughs> do your worst Fate oh, chose you not well. live to see that <clears throat> not good enough i'm afraid Simple enough.
you found a way back. Does this mean... Yes, he's dead. You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Here. The Amulet belongs to you. Belongs to me? The Amulet of Kings? So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true, if the Emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim Blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Put it on, Your Majesty. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. You see? You are your real son. I didn't really need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me I'm back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming emperor, and quite another to actually be the emperor. You are the emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Mayroon's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Ricardo. He waits for us in the Imperial City. We... why meet Okado? Chancellor Ricardo is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Good evening, sir. Like I said, we're doing this all in one episode. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Hold on. Oh. Yes, All I have to. to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down, especially if council is in session. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. I've been expecting you. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. Martin Septim, on behalf of the Elder Council, I Chancellor accept your Ocado. claim to the Imperial Chancellor throne. Ocado. We Chancellor Ocado, the city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the Emperor. To the Temple of the One. All right. Shit, fuck my life. <laughs> I don't wanna. Ah! What's. Fuck me, dude. My god, these guards are overpowered as hell. Alright then. <laughs> what a party! Alright. Um. Shit, fuck me, dude. Ah, shit. Ah. God damn it. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Holy block. You didn't do shit.
Go to hell. Assholes. Uh, I think they will. Where's Martin? Oh, hello. We're too late. Mehrun's Dagon is here. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from oblivion are gone. I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him. But now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. What about the Amulet of Kings? Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea, one last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. But you said it was no use. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Mehrun's Dagon somehow. I'll get you to the temple. Then I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. I'm with you. Come on! We need to get to the dragon... I do what I must do. 
I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. is shattered. Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The Third Age has ended, and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things, now, belong to you. What happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayrun's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won! Not really. It's gone. What do you mean, gone? We saw the temple dome explode. The avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? Yes, he shattered the amulet of kings. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power. Of Akatosh. And Martin's blood, too. Then Martin is gone. But the gates are sealed. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. What about the Empire? This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the empire without an emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the empire. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive. In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you Champion of Cyrodiil. And as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, I have ordered a suit of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. Imperial dragon armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself, but you deserve no less, Champion. We are now the stewards of the Empire. We can hold the Empire together in the short term. But to be honest, I don't know what will happen. The provinces have been restive for years, even before the latest crisis. With no legitimate claimant for the dragon throne, troubled times lie ahead. A little bit of foreshadowing. I know he's gone. As the Chancellor of the Elder Council, my concern now 
is how to choose his successor. You have earned the highest rank possible in the Order of the Dragon, the illustrious Order of Imperial Knights founded by Tiber Septim himself. It is a high honor. Only six other champions have been awarded in the history of the Empire. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. Cool. Alrighty, well. That's the main quest done. And now, on to the Shivering Isles, which should be fun. But, I wanted to do something real quick. Um, in two weeks, okay. I mean, might as well check it out. Pardon me. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was sent to ask for your help. Where are my manners? I'm Rasa Norvalo. My husband, Gillen, has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. Normally, I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seemed so insistent. Please forgive my audacity. Thank you. Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case, he sounded earnest, which worries me a bit. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to the citizens of the Imperial City. You're to meet him at Serador's house, which is located in the Temple District. He said all will be explained when you get there. That's all he told me to say. Thank you. I'm sure he'll be pleased. I must go now. Good day to you. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that quest. <laughs> I'm not doing that quest. I want to see this dragon armor. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the Shivering Isles the escape. <laughs> as much as I want the armor, it, you know, I prefer my Daedric armor. Anyways, guys. Uh, I will, first of all, save it. And... I can't believe it's over. That giant demon. The dragon, what happened? Have we won? Yes, we've won. Um, but yeah, but um what I will do is um do the Shivering Elves quest next, which will be the end of the Let's Play of Oblivion. So hope you all enjoyed this guy uh this quest so far, guys. Um but yeah. Um, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye, guys.